Statistics indicate that as many as 14% of China's population is addicted to technology and the internet specifically. In fact, this is according to a psychologist who runs a rehab center that treats those who are addicted to the internet. Now, some do go to these treatment rehab centers, uh, but others are taking matters into their own hands. And that is a bit of a pun because in this story, a 19-year-old boy in China literally cut off his own left hand in order to deal with his internet addiction. Mm. So uh, he's unidentified. He has a nickname that the media has been using, uh, Little Wang, which sounds ridiculous. But nonetheless, uh, doctors were able to reattach his hand, although oh. they are saying that it's going to be difficult for him to ever get back the entire function of his hand. It's never going to be the same, but nonetheless, his hand was attached successfully. Uh, now, I don't really have much to say about this story other than the fact that, you know, maybe the fact that he cut off his hand indicates that he has other issues aside from being addicted to the internet. But I do believe that technology addiction is a real thing. I'm addicted to this. I'm on it all day, every day. And it's a really, really difficult thing to beat. I seriously go through some withdrawals when I'm not around my phone. And so I do think that this is something that should be studied more. Uh, Robbie, what do you think? Make your point. Yeah, I totally think internet addiction is a thing. But uh, uh, you know, at the same time, bro, sell your stuff. Like, don't don't cut off a limb. Uh, yeah. I think yeah, I think you're right. Maybe there is something else going on with him because isn't you know wouldn't you just sell your computer or your devices? But uh, it, totally, I think it's something that people oftentimes scoff at. Like, oh, wait, you know, internet addiction or video game addiction or right. technology addiction. It's a real thing, and it, it actually I think sometimes really negatively affects people. Um, there's a whole lifestyle uh, where people just become hermits now. Yeah. And it really can destroy lives. It really does. Sandra, what do you think? I mean, you do a successful podcast online, so the internet is a huge part of your life. Yeah, the internet is my playground. Wah! I definitely have a little bit of a, an obsession with the internet myself. Um, it's tragic, but I, at the same time, selling your computer or doing something like that, it's when you're driven to the point of destroying your own body, um, you're in a dark place and you're in a corner and you have no way out. And I, can, I understand what that's like. Um, and addiction, really, if you, it is negatively affecting other parts of your life. Like, I text while I'm driving. And I'm like, what are you doing? Start, keep driving. What are you doing? And it's like, I could die because I text while I drive. And that is an addiction. Like that to me is a problem. And so I think, I think this is important. And I think you're right that we need to study this a lot more and, and take it seriously. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So the question for this story is, what is one thing that you are addicted to other than the internet and technology? Something that you just cannot live without, Robbie. So my answer for this was actually video games. Mm -hmm. um, because uh, growing up, that's, that was kind of my vice. You know, um, I sometimes, I grew up actually in the, my very early childhood, not able to communicate well, I had a speech impediment. And uh, because of that, I often escaped through video games. That was something that I could do with people in a social way that didn't require a lot of conversation necessarily. Uh -huh. um, but I think after a while, it really started to negatively affect me. I realized that whenever I was disappointed in myself or I was feeling bad, that my instant gratification was video games. Uh, and yeah. I, I really see so many parallels to drugs. Some people, their escape mechanism is drugs. Some people, it's Netflix. You know, some people, whatever. You know, uh, for me, it was video games, and I had to cut it off. Actually, uh, not my hand, but my, <laughs> my you know, like my, my you know, I, I completely. Um, I'm like, no video games, not even in moderation. I'm going to stop for a while until I feel comfortable with it. Again. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's good self control there. Definitely. Sandra. Oh, sugar. All the sugar. <laughs> Cookies, uh, cake, uh, just sugar. Yeah. I mean, I am known to be just with packets of sugar, just like, <laughs> oh my God. Um, I mean, you know, if I'm hungry and waiting for my food at a restaurant, um, I have a compulsion towards sugar, and I went without sugar for two weeks. I mean, fruit was okay, but no processed sugar, and it was physically painful. I mean, when you say withdrawals, yes, yes, it was. I mean, I was sweating. Like, I was, I was wow. dizzy. It was confusing. And, and I know that about me, and I know that I can not even be thinking about it, and I'm, I'm going towards something, and I'm, I've eaten half mm. a box of cookies before I go, oh, my God, what have I done? Yeah. <laughs> it's a murder scene. No. <laughs> so anyway, that's yeah. my struggle. Yeah, sugar addiction is a real issue. I mean, it triggers the same centers of your brain that cocaine does, right? And cocaine's great, too. You yeah, know? it is. It's a, good, it's a good replacement if you're looking to cut sugar. Oh, God, um, God. I would say that my addiction, or the one thing that I actually can't live without is interaction with friends and family. 
Um, I oh, think that, yeah, I know really that, sweet. I'm not trying to be corny or cheesy or anything. I'm just talking about experiences and, you know, I'm reflecting on them. There's nothing more crippling to me personally than feeling lonely. Mm. Um, and it's like my biggest fear and I can't stand it. It's like I can't function. So my friends and my family, most important thing in my life, uh, interacting with them, most important thing, couldn't live without them. I love you guys. Anyway, um, so share what you are addicted to. It could be anything. And also, what do you make of this 19-year-old in China who literally chopped his left hand off to deal with his internet addiction? Have you ever done anything that extreme? Uh, we do want to hear your story, so comment in the section below. And as always, guys, you know we're going to see you soon.